God is the source of man's life. From the moment you come crying into this world, you begin to perform your duty. You assume your role in the plan of God and in the ordination of God. You begin the journey of life. Whatever your background and whatever the journey ahead of you, none can escape the orchestration and arrangement that heaven has in store and none are in control of their destiny. For only he who rules over all things is capable of such work. Since the day man came into existence, God has been steady in his work, managing this universe and directing the change and movement of all things. Like all things, man quietly and unknowingly receives the nourishment of the sweetness and rain and dew from God. Like all things, man unknowingly lives under the orchestration of God's hand. The heart and spirit of man are held in the hand of God, and all the life of man is beheld in the eyes of God. Regardless of whether or not you believe this, any and all things, living or dead, will shift, change, renew, and disappear according to God's thoughts. This is how God rules over all things. God created this world and brought man, a living being unto which he bestowed life, into it. In turn, Man came to have parents and kin and was no longer alone. Ever since man first laid eyes on this material world, he was destined to exist within the ordination of God. It is the breath of life from God that supports each living being throughout his growth into adulthood. During this process, None believe that man lives and grows up under the care of God. Rather, they hold that man grows up under the love and care of his parents and that his growth is governed by the instinct of life. This is because man knows not who bestowed life or from whence it came, much less how the instinct of life creates miracles. Man knows only that food is the basis of the continuation of life, that perseverance is the source of existence of life, and that the belief in his mind is the wealth of his survival. Man does not feel the grace and provision from God. Man then squanders the life bestowed upon him by God. Not one man whom God looks upon day and night, takes the initiative to worship Him. God continues to work as He has planned on man, for whom He holds no expectations. He does so in the hope that one day, man will awaken from his dream and suddenly comprehend the value and purpose of life, understand the cost at which God has given man everything, and know how fervently God longs for man to turn back to him. None have ever considered the secrets to the origin and continuation of man's life. And yet, only God who understands all of this silently endures the hurt and blows from man who has received everything from God, but is not thankful. Man takes for granted all that life brings, and as a matter of course, God is betrayed, forgotten, and extorted by man. Is the plan of God truly of such importance? 
is man, the living being that came from the hand of God, truly of such importance. The plan of God is of absolute importance. However, the living being created by the hand of God exists for his plan. Therefore, God cannot lay waste to his plan out of hatred for this mankind. It is for the sake of his plan and the breath he exhaled that God endures all torment, not for the flesh of man, but for the life of man. He wishes to take back not the flesh of man, but the life he breathed out. This is his plan.